boys and girls. Thank you for joining us for story time at Korong. My name's Petronella and these are my good friends Charlie Monkey and Archie Bear. Today we're going to be reading Song of the Stars. It's written by Sally Lloyd-Jones and the paintings are by Alison J. The world was about to change forever and it almost went by unnoticed. But the leaves that night rustled with a rumour. News rang out across the open fields. A song drifted over the hills. The wind whispered it softly in the sycamore trees that waved their moonlit branches to the sky. A barn owl took flight. Woodland creatures stirred. It's time! It's time! Time for what? In the pine woods, two deer raised their heads. A big brown bear sniffed the air. A red fox darted. The faces of little flowers lifted to the skies. It's time! It's time! The sky shouted it to the seas that thundered it to the waves that roared it to the great white whales that sang it to the starfish in the deep. And tiny sandpipers danced it on shining sands. It's time. It's time. The running rivers bounded over boulders and the otters clapped and played and sang to the ducklings that splashed and quacked to the salmon that leaped and leaped. Look there are the ducklings splashing and quacking. Is that an otter catching a salmon? Lucky otter. And tiny field mice and insects and little creeping things and sparrows and robins and every single blade of grass squeaked and hummed and chirped and sang. It's time, it's time. Wild stallions drummed it to the ground. Get ready, get ready, be glad, be glad. On a lonely peak, a lion raised his strong head and roared it out to the empty wilderness. The mighty king, the prince of peace. All the stars joined together in a chorus that rang out through the heavens. The bright and morning star. And on a hillside, overlooking a little town, sheep nuzzled their new lambs. It's the good shepherd, they said. Suddenly, angels lit up the whole sky and a great choir sang it out loud. It's time, he's come, at last, he's here. Hmm. And in the little town, in a little shed, in a little window, a candle flickered in the dark and a tiny cry rang out in the cold night air and high above a single star set in the highest heaven shone out brighter than all the others and poured down silver onto the little shed a light to light up the whole world the animals stood around his bed, and the whole earth and all the stars and sky held its breath. The one who made us has come to live with us, they said. And a young mother, with no place to rest, nowhere to stay, kept it as a song inside her heart. Our rescuer. And they gazed in wonder at God's great gift, lying on a bed of straw wrapped in rags, a tiny little baby. 
heaven's sun, sleeping under the stars that he made. Hmm, what a beautiful Christmas story. Out of all the gifts you received this Christmas, I think God's love is the best one, his unconditional love for you and for me. Happy Christmas. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye. If you'd like to buy this book, pop on to coorong.com forward slash story time or come into store to visit me and Charlie. Make sure you're RSVP for our next story time at Coorong. <laughs>